When we talk about Nigeria, the first thing that comes to mind is the country's top industry, which is its petroleum industry. Its economy heavily depends on oil. Nigeria is rarely seen when it comes to robotic advancement, but did you know that its first humanoid robot is in development already? Let's talk about it in this video. Meet Omif, Africa's first humanoid robot. Omif, a six-foot-tall multilingual humanoid robot, was created by Unikin Group, a two-year-old Nigerian technology company, somewhere in Mabushi, a crossroads location between the inner and outer districts of Abuja, Nigeria. Omif, a female Igbo character who can understand and speak eight different languages, was built from an idea that was conceptualized in 2020 and went through a back-and-forth construction process that spanned two years. Omif is now a product that is ready to meet the world. Omif, a powerful artificial intelligence platform powered by complex algorithms created internally by the company's team of scientists, has a thorough understanding of African culture and behavioral patterns. Chuck Sequim, the CEO of the company and its founder, spoke with Techabal on the phone about the project and revealed that the humanoid also has a real-time understanding of its environment, including active listening and the capacity to focus on a particular conversation thread as it is taking place. It can transition between languages and communicate via gestures like hand gestures, smiles, and other physical actions that match the conversation's tone, according to Equim. In addition to Igbo, Omif currently speaks English, French, Arabic, Kiswahili, Pidgin, Wazobia, and Afrikaans. When asked if Omif could frown or convey melancholy, Equim replied, No, I don't think we wanted to do that. Omif's capacity to speak each language with a natural accent, pitch, vocabulary, and exact pronunciations of words, sentences, and even phrases, however, really emphasizes the Africanness that is incorporated into the program. African social interaction practices are also deeply ingrained with politeness norms. Equine claimed that Omif deliberately selects its words, selecting away words, phrases, sentences, and expressions that are impolite in African cultures in order to maintain the discussion. Equine continued, this unique quality makes it safe to interact with children. He furthered that Omif has a learning pipeline that aids in its development and aids in its understanding of new information from discussions. With new information, it can also remember and comprehend previous concepts more clearly. Omif also has terrain intelligence in that it is aware of its own stability and ground level, which aids it in navigating on uneven surfaces and keeping its balance. Additionally, it contains a grip sensor and a position awareness feature that enable it recognize size, comprehend shape, and know how to grasp objects in its hands. Robot manufacturing businesses are increasingly producing robots that resemble humans. The main motivation behind this is to build machines that are capable of carrying out jobs as effectively as people. However, studies and current occurrences show that, despite years of advancement, the rate of improvement is still too slow. This poor progress was demonstrated, for instance, by Elon Musk's humanoid Optimus lackluster performance on Tesla AI Day in September. Top roboticists have projected that the world is still a long way off from producing a robot that can outright replace human work, despite Elon Musk's excited comment about robots taking over physically tedious tasks from humans. And Optimus proved the roboticist's assessment by cautiously entering the stage before being carried off by a crowd. Omif may be fairly satisfactory on the inside, but from the outside it still appears to be a work in progress. It's not very pleasing to the eye in terms of aesthetics. The prosthetic skin requires more labor in order to mix in with the humanoid's body effectively as compared to robots from firms like Xiaomi and Honda. But here's what robots does well. Since creating robots is such a massive job, any advancement is welcomed. After two years, Tesla's Optimus could only wave and perform an uncomfortable dance motion, but the corporation was still proud enough to introduce it. Equine stated that the business will continue to emulate this initial iteration of Omif, adding new languages, improving the aesthetics, and advancing mobility and vision to create Omif 2.0. Upgrades are excellent, but Unikin Group has done some narrative-shifting work for a two-year-old Nigerian firm that is self-funded. 
According to Equim, Unikin Group is still holding out hope that they can perfect the humanoid to the point where they can mass produce and market it for prices starting at $30,000. This is akin to Tesla's proposed humanoid design. Upon finished, the humanoid, according to Musk, will cost $20,000. Omif is built for cerebral social contact, whereas Optimus is built for physically. Equim added with assurance, we can also construct for physicality. All we need to do is change the AI and strengthen the hardware component of our humanoid. Given that there aren't many mass-producing robot businesses in existence right now, mass-producing and selling for a price higher than Tesla's humanoid's floor price may be a hard shot. In contrast to robots from other regions that have been in the game for decades, it might take some time for the world to embrace the commercialization of an African robot. For Equim and his colleagues, creating a robot is just the beginning of their adventure. The harder part will probably be getting it accepted and used all over the world. However, when building in unfamiliar territory, pure willpower is crucial. It's working for Musk, so it might well be effective for Equim as well. The need to diversify and develop exportable deep tech solutions shouldn't be disregarded or discouraged at this critical juncture when the African technology sector is attracting significant attention and investment interest. What do you think of Omif? Do you think Nigeria can pull this off on and make a commercially successful robot? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. We love to hear your answers. Leave a like and subscribe if you like to be updated on anything robot. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.